Hello. This video will guide you through the experience of managing departments in the Azure portal as an enterprise administrator. Once you've logged into the Azure portal, in the search bar, go to Cost Management and Billing section. Now, select the desired billing scope. Under Billing section on your left side toolbar, select Departments. Now, you will be able to see all the departments for that enrollment. To add a new department, find the Add button at the right side of the search bar. You will need to add a name and a cost center for the new department. After you have added all the details needed, click on Save, and the newly created department will show up in the department list. Now we will go through the steps to edit a department. Select the department you need to change and click on the ellipsis symbol and then click on Edit. A new blade will open with the spaces to type in and edit the following fields, name and cost center. Click on Save once you've updated them. To delete a department, click on the ellipsis symbol and now click on Delete. You will need to confirm you want to delete the department and then click on Delete. Please keep in mind that once the department is deleted, the following things happen. The department status is changed to deleted. The department detail is available in read-only mode to enterprise administrator and that no operation can be performed on this department. Department deleted on date is available in department details. Finally, all accounts under the deleted department will have an assigned category for the department. Now, we will guide you through the steps to adding, editing, or deleting a department administrator. Once you're in the department list, select the department of your choice. Here, you will be able to see all the details for that specific department. Access the control blade on your left side toolbar to add a new department administrator. Click on Add. You will need to enter an email address, confirm it, and select the authorization type. Also, you will need to specify whether it's read-only or not. Then click on Add. You will now see the new department administrator on your list. To edit, click on the ellipsis symbol and click on Edit. You may change whether it's read-only mode or not. Then select Apply. You can also delete a department administrator from this menu, clicking on Deleting on the ellipsis symbol. You will need to confirm you want to delete this department administrator. You may see your changes immediately. Finally, we will go through managing departments logged into the Azure portal as a department administrator. Once you've logged into the Azure portal as a department administrator, go to Cost Management and Billing section on the search bar. You will be able to see the departments where you have a department administrator role. Select the desired department where you might see further details. Click on Edit to change name or cost center for that specific department. To manage access to a department, go to the Access Control Blade where you can add a department administrator. Through the ellipsis symbol, you might as well edit or delete these existing roles. We hope this video was useful for managing departments as an enterprise administrator and as a department administrator, as well as managing roles in the Azure portal. Thanks for watching.